Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm very excited because I'm going to be talking and swatching and mixing all of the Unearthly Cosmetics Satin Liquid Lipsticks. I'm so excited. I have all of these shades here in front of me. This is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas and we're gonna play in makeup today. We're gonna mix shades. We're gonna create our own custom shades. I'm super excited about it. But first, before we do all that, I wanna introduce myself. Hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. I am all about having fun with makeup. At my channel, I don't try to be perfect. I just want to have fun with makeup and I want you to have fun with makeup too. Be creative, have fun, and that's what we're going to focus on today. So I'm so excited to be here at the Unearthly Cosmetics channel and I hope you'll have fun with me as we kind of play with these, swatch these, mix, create some custom colors, and maybe I can give you some inspiration for mixing these lipsticks too. But now that I've introduced myself, let's jump into it. Okay, first off, let me tell you a little bit about these satin liquid lipsticks. I have them all, look, I've got them right here in front of me. Let me show you like a close up of this packaging. If you have not seen this before, it is so adorable. It's like a snow globe up top, but instead of snow, it's glitter and it's moons and it's stars and it's so adorable and then we have this pretty like black to clear ombre type of packaging the shade that i'm wearing on my lips today is kaylina this is my personal favorite shade because i love this type of tone but the texture of these is really beautiful it goes on opaque so it doesn't take a lot of product like you can put it on and be done you know you don't have to spend forever building color up it's a very lightweight texture it's very comfortable on the lips it is a satin liquid lip so it's not going to dry down super matte i've had this lip color on for about 30 minutes now and this is how it looks once it's been on really beautiful not super shiny but definitely that beautiful satin finish very comfortable on the lips very creamy like I can still rub my lips together and they feel nice these also have a really it's almost like a vanilla cupcake had a baby with banana laffy taffy it's something like that but it's not super overpowering and I love the scent I love the texture I love the way these look on the lips. I actually put these in my yearly favorites last year because I love them so much. So I am going to insert some swatches for y'all, just swatching these out on my hand so that you can see the different shades. If you wanna see any of these shades on the lips, it's really cool on the Unearthly Cosmetics website. They do have lip swatches of these liquid lips. So I think that's super duper helpful, but I didn't wanna in, get into the mixing of these lipsticks without showing y'all some swatches, right? So now that I've shown you swatches, I've kind of told you a little bit about these lip products, explain to you why they're my personal favorites. We're gonna get started with mixing. I've got something ready to wipe these lips off. Good thing is, these are satin liquid lips, so it's not gonna kill me to take them on and off, but I wanna mix some shades, so let's jump into that. Okay, so we're gonna start with what I have on right now. This is the shade Kaylina. Like I said, it's my personal favorite, probably my most used shade, but I love this shade right here called Jasmine. This shade is very, very light. And it has kind of like mm, a very interesting undertone to it. So I want to show you how you can kind of lighten and change Kaylina by adding a little bit of Jasmine. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit right here on the center and right up here on the center of my upper lip. So I'm going to put it just like that. Just like that, I'm gonna close this up and then I'm going to tap, 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 tap with my finger 
and you're gonna see that it's gonna lighten up Kaylina just a bit. I really love that with these liquid lips, with this formula, it's like they're made to be mixed, which is so fun. I, I just, listen, I'm here for the fun of makeup. I'm here to play and have a good time. And I just want to show y'all maybe some ideas, maybe give you some creative inspiration, you know? Okay, so here are those two mixed. I would love to know what you think of this lip combo. I'm really, really here for it. I like using Jasmine just to give a little bit of, you know, something different to a lip color. You could even use a little bit less than I did, you know, just one dot you could put on your finger and then tap in and it's gonna give you like a level that's not quite as light as this, but I just love the way this looks. So this is Kaylina mixed with Jasmine. Okay, so now I have on the shade Ginger, this beautiful, it's super bright, right? There's another orange in the line called Gladys that would be so pretty mixed with this. Of course, you could deepen it up. Gladys is definitely deeper, but I feel like that's kind of an obvious combination, right? Mix the two oranges together. So let's do something a little different and let's mix with a little bit of red. And this is Minerva. Now I love this red, it's so pretty. But what I wanna do is kind of the opposite of what we did with the first mixing, how we put it in the center. Now what I'm gonna do is deepen up the outside so i'm going to the outer corners of my lip and i'm going to pull in like this same thing up here i'm going to go to the outer corner of my lip and deepen now it's going to be super easy to do this because the doe foot on this has a really nice kind of angle to it so you can get right here at the corners. Now, use your finger to blend if you want to. I did that with the first look, but if you're somebody who's like, you know, Heather, I don't love putting my hands in my makeup. I got you. We're gonna use a brush this time. This is actually an Unearthly Cosmetics UC85 brush. And we're just gonna right here, see? Look how pretty that is, how it's just kind of darker here. And it's gonna give us much more of kind of a pouty look because we're gonna be deeper out here, lighter in the center. Okay, so here is the lip look, mixing Ginger and Minerva. So pretty you could even take jasmine that we used in the first lip look you could put a little bit of this if you want even more of that contrast of light out maybe we should do it let's just do it you know what we're here to play with makeup so let's take a tiny bit and this will be kind of our third lip mix i was gonna say lip combo but it's kind of a trio with this right so see that just kind of emphasized the contrast even more but I feel like it still looks so so pretty you could leave it like this the finish is really beautiful or you could throw on a gloss whatever you want but I'm loving this color and I feel like it looks so perfect for summer I mean listen I love color, I love neutrals, I love it all. I'm rocking a colorful look today, but this trio of lip colors with a bronzy eye would be beautiful. All right, I have on the shade Mandy. This olive tone is not for the faint of heart. It is very intense, right? But beautiful olive color but I want to show you what happens when you mix it with Samantha. Samantha is really fun because it's not red and it's not pink but it's bold and it's really really pretty but I'm going to show you. We're going to mix this completely so I'm going to put on a layer of 
Samantha right on top of this olive shade. Okay, I'm not worried about being precise because we're gonna blend this in with a brush. And when these two shades mix, it's really pretty. You get a really pretty wine berry tone. Again, I'm using a little unearthly brush. This is one of the angled brushes. This is the UC83. Now listen, my lip line may not be perfect right now, and that is because I'm putting on lipstick, taking off, putting it on, taking it off. But I want to show y'all this color because there's not a shade like this in the unearthly satin liquid lip line, but I think this is so beautiful. The way these two create this custom color, I love. Look at this. Is this not a beautiful color? I feel like this is a color that when you kind of want a bold lip, but you don't feel like going for red, you don't feel like going for purple, you don't feel like going for something out there, this is a more kind of muted tone. Like I said, it kind of takes on that berry hue while still being kind of intense. So again, we have the shade Mandy I put down first that was super, super olive. And then I have the bold shade Samantha. Just mix those two together and this is the lip color that we have. Okay, here we have the shade Gladys. So this is the deeper of the orange, not the lighter, more muted ginger that we used earlier. This is Gladys, very pretty, very deep. And we're going to lighten this one up a bit. I'm going to take the shade Eva. Beautiful, very, very light. If you are somebody who is super fair and you struggle to find shades that are light and neutral, look at this one. So pretty. So I'm going to do the same technique that we used in the first lip swatch mix thing. I'm going to put it right in the center and I'm going to tap it out with my fingers. Now here is the lip with Gladys and Eva mixed. Both of these of course are beautiful shades on their own but I really like the way these look mixed too. I feel like this is the type of look I want to wear to the pumpkin patch. <laughs> it's giving me all the fun fall vibes. But of course you can wear your makeup colors any time of year. I just, mm, when I look at my lips, that's the vibe I'm getting. But I love these two shades mixed together. All right, for this lip combo, I have mixed the purpley and the pink shade. So we have Angela and Linda. These lipsticks just mix so easily. I love this lip combo. I think it looks so pretty. This just kind of brightens up that purple a little bit, but you can see I can still kind of move and blend my lips because they're so comfortable on the lips, but I like these two shades together. In case you couldn't tell, I really like this combo. So Linda and Angela. All right, y'all, this is the Satin Liquid Lip in the shade Jeanette. So pretty, but we're going to take Diana, and I'm going to put Diana, which is a very cool tone shade, right in the center, just like we've done a few times. But I want to grab, where is my favorite? Where is Kaylina? Where did I put her? Because we're going to deepen up the outer edges. There we go with Kaylina. I want all three of these shades on my lips today. So I'm just going to put it out there like that and blend. All right, y'all. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing me mix up some shades hearing about how awesome these lip products are. Again, definitely check out the Unearthly website because these are lip swatched over there individually so you can see the colors on their own as well. But in case you're curious, maybe, 
what else is on my face i've got some other great stuff on so these lashes first of all are immortal lashes everything unearthly of course i'm wearing leather and lace eyeshadow palette paired with the all i ever wanted volume 2 palette had a lot of fun creating this green look using those two and i've got a couple of blushes on mixed i mixed the shade burst with the shade mellow i went in with burst first and then i topped it off with mellow and the highlight the glow that you see is golden yeah golden <laughs> so that's what i've got on and of course you already know what's on my lips if you want to see me again, I would love to have you. My name is Heather Austin. I do have an entire Unearthly Cosmetics playlist over on my channel, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a like if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to the Unearthly channel. I want to say thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried this formula. Let me know your favorite shade down in the comments. I would love to hear. Are you like me? Do you love Kaylina? Do you have a different favorite shade? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again. Bye.